Hello. I would like to welcome James Burke to my web series. James Burke is a science historian, author, television producer, and a futurist. He has written for Scientific American, New Scientist, Vogue, Time Magazine, and the Encyclopedia Britannica online. He has created and presented many television shows for the BBC, including the major television series Connections and The Day the Universe Changed. James Burke has lectured to audiences worldwide, including at the Smithsonian, MIT, NASA, IBM, Microsoft, the European Parliament, and the U.S. National Security Agency. He is currently in the process of developing a new connection series about our future. I saw the video for your new show, um, and you said that there were innovations coming within my lifetime and the kids in my class's lifetime that will challenge every uh, institution, law, value system, social program. Did you have any specifically that you can say without spoiling your new show? Yes. The, <clears throat> the one that interests me most of all is a thing called a nanofabricator. People have been talking about it for a long time, for 20 years, but only just now do we have the technology to begin to build it. And as far as I recall, the University of Manchester in England about two years ago came up with the first bit of a nanofabricator. Uh, uh, this is where I get boring. Nanofabrication involves the fact that atoms and atoms come together to form molecules, as you know, and molecules come together to form stuff, and then you shape the stuff into whatever it is. It is. If you can move certain atoms together, you can make molecules and move the molecules together and make stuff and then shape the stuff to whatever it is you want. If you could do that at any time, you could take, I, I wish I had it on me, but I don't have a copy, but there's a lovely uh, chemical symbology thing, you know, like H2O, which is about yay long. And if you made it with all the bits, it would be sweet tea. And it, but it's about that long. Um, you can make anything you want. And the ingredients would be basically, except for very rare earths, you know, titanium and stuff. But for 99% for of what we use and need, you can get the raw materials out of earth, air and water. And you chuck them in the machine and they contain the molecules, they contain the atoms that you will need in order to extract and put together to build in your little factory the stuff that you want. So you can say to this factory, if you've ever seen Star Trek, you know, computer, make me a cup of coffee. And it will. Now, it, this sounds like science fiction, but, I, but as I tell you, the, the first stage of doing this is being able to manipulate at the atomic level to bring together the right atoms into a group so that they form a molecule. That's already happened. So inevitably, sooner or later, we will build a nanofabricator and that will change absolutely everything on the planet. You, you, you'll need nothing. You can live anywhere you like. You can create the kind of environment you want around you. You can leave no environmental footprint at all. I mean, almost anything you can think of will be handled when you are entirely autonomous, entirely self-sufficient, capable of having anything you want made by the nanofabricator. There'll obviously have to be some kind of things you can't make, like atomic bombs or machine guns or whatever it is we decide as a society to tell the nanofabricator you can't do that. And then we have to watch out for hackers who will try and do it. But in the main, if you think about the fact that you can make anything you want for nothing from earth, dirt and water, you can see how that will change every aspect of society because society only exists for us all to be able to have what we need. And if we have it anyway, it, you see what I'm saying? How and I think, I think 2050 maybe for that. Do you think the, the price of them will be like televisions and be like crazy and then go down like computers? Or do you think, do you think normal people will be able to have them? Have what? Uh, nanofabricators. Oh yes, of course, of course. I mean, the whole point about a nanofabricator is the first thing it makes is another one. So you make one, two, four, eight, 16, 32, the guess is about two years for one for everyone on the planet. 
and you you obviously you Wi-Fi the instructions to other countries to do it. And as I say, each nanofabricator makes its own copy, and that one makes that, that one makes another copy. So as I said, one, two, four, eight, ten. So the cost will be negligible because by that time we will be using stuff like perovskite to spray solar energy cells on everything so that whatever kind of light whether it's starlight or light from the traffic or light from the sun that everything we spray will generate its own power so you know whatever you want spray your house that's the power you need so there will be no cost